Hey girls, so I'm going to show you girls how I get my waves with my wand. And this is my wand. Um, I don't know how, like, how many inches it is, but let me show you girls. Um, it's not that thick. It's not that thin. I think it's one of, like, the thickest ones, though. Um, and what else? Yeah, um, it has to turn on, light, and then off. And then right here, how much heat you want it to have. So it's pretty, it's pretty awesome. Alright, so, um, what I'm going to use, it's obviously this, my wand, and I'm also going to use my, um, Soy hairspray. And this was just, like, three dollars. It's not expensive. It's just three bucks. Um, and then I'm going to use my brush. You can use any brush. You don't have to use this brush necessarily. Um, this is my Forever 21 brush. So I'm going to show you girls how I curl it and how to use this wand. So once um, it's connected, I'm just going to turn it on, and it's right here, just turn it on, going up, and then I'm going to set it to like, to like maybe 25, 25 till it heats up, and then afterwards I'm just going to let it heat up, and then when it heats up, I'm maybe going to lower it, and then I'm going to start by doing this side, so I'm going to give it one more last brush. And so then I'm going to start with my bangs. So then I'm going to grab my bangs and I'm going to part them to two sections. And then I'm going to grab my, my curler and I'm going to face it so that this thing is down. And then I'm going to grab this part. And then I'm going to put it all the way over here. And then I'm going to flip one time. Flip another time. Flip last time. Then I'm going to close it. And I grab the last... Um, hair and then I'm gonna kind of start pulling it and then leave it there for a while and then make sure you don't touch this because you're gonna get um burn but it kind of tap the hair a little bit just to see um if it's heating up make sure you really do not like touch it if you don't know how to touch the hair because sometimes it really hurts it burns and I'm gonna leave it there for usually four seconds depending on how much heat there is and I'm gonna let it go so this is a really pretty wave um, and then I'm just going to do the same thing face this down curl curl one last curl and make sure it's in this side kind of pull and then flip make sure you don't um, the wand isn't touching your 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 hair and let it for five seconds and make sure it's facing down see how pretty they are and then afterwards I'm gonna do another one and depending on how big you want them um, the front I always do it th like this because I want them to be nice and set okay and then I'm gonna grab this section and I'm gonna part it in two and then I'm going to grab another one, just flip, 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 and then when it gets to the edge, make sure it, um, it grabs the end of the hair so that it can stay all together. And then I'm going to leave it for five seconds or so. Make sure that your wand is facing down like I said. I usually leave it five up to ten seconds depending on how much, like, heated it is and then I kind of do this because sometimes they don't really come out as you want them to come out and then there you go really pretty curls and then I do this over and over and over again and then I kind of do the same thing all over again these are really pretty curls and I love these curls I'm just gonna leave it there for like around five to ten seconds. Let it go. And then, if you want your curls to be more curled right here, you just grab it and curl it. And 
And then these are just natural, really pretty waves. And then I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna go ahead and grab another section. I'm gonna brush it. I always tend to brush it. Um, and then I'm gonna grab a small section. If you want more like natural Brazilian um, curls, you definitely um, have to like grab bigger sections. These are just natural wavy curls slash Hollywood type of inspired um, hair tutorial. And then I'm just gonna let it go. I always start when doing my curls from the top. Just make sure that it doesn't touch your um, your your head. Then I'm going to grab another section of hair, um, maybe this much, and I am going to start maybe this much, like I could, this section I could like cut it in, I could um, part it in two, but I don't want to. Do you have a hairbrush? Yeah, you could borrow it. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of busy, but okay. Okay, close the door please. That was my sister. And then I'm just gonna like, um, kind of let it sit there for a few seconds again. The thing here is that I lessened um, the um, the eat, so I'm gonna put it up up to like 20 to get them more curly. And then I'm gonna go ahead and grab. See how they're coming out? Really pretty and curly. I'm gonna go ahead and grab another section. Whatever. So I'm just gonna do this over and over again. And they're coming up. And you see how soft they're coming out like, um, and the reason is because you use this serum, so the serum really works. Make sure your wand is facing down. Let's kind of let it go. Then I'm gonna grab another section and I'm going to I'm going to do this. Do the same thing, just flip. If your hair is too long and it doesn't fit the wand, um you could um sometimes that happens. Um what you could do is um like double flip it, meaning um if you did already, you know. All your other wand is full of hair on top of the hair flip it over and over and over and even if it, it has like two layers of hair it's okay they'll still come out maybe not that good like maybe not that you know set but um they'll come out or what you could do is just like um if they're not that cur curly you could um do it one last time like let's say right here it's not that curled my hair is longer let's say my hair is longer and right here, it's where it ended because um, the curls aren't that good from here and down because I didn't, um, because the wand wasn't um, too long and so I had to um, wrap my hair twice here. So what you do is you grab where it stopped curling well, where it's not really curly, and then you flip it and you close it and you kind of bring it up a little bit, a little bit, a little bit, sorry. And you bring it up a little bit and then... You just kind of wait a while, and that way they could come out curlier, see? So there's no biggie. And then I'm going to do another one, and there's no problem. And I'm going to do another one, grab one more here, just curl it. 
and sometimes it kind of gets stuck here um, but try to fix that they come out like that really pretty and then I'm gonna grab another one I'm just gonna flip and flip and flip and flip and then you just flip and flip and flip You can see my hair is ombre because right here it's dark and then right here it's light. Grab right here and kind of remake this one again. Just because it's the front and you know. And then don't do your curls all the way over here. You know, just kind of from here and down. And then apparently we're done. Um, it's really pretty curls. Um, to do but yeah other than that I'm done with this side so these are my curls and they're just very natural and I am very happy with them um, and we're gonna have to do I'm gonna do this side I'm um, yeah um, this one I'm done with it and I really like it it's really pretty um, I like this color because it kind of makes mm, this color just focus on the color um, Last time I dyed my hair ombre, but it was just with bleach um, because I, we didn't have time. But this time, we actually, she actually did the whole thing. Um, she went ahead and she um, tried to light it up. She went ahead and she um, she went ahead and she um, color, did this um, the, the toner I think it's called. She toned it as well. She did like, a different. I don't. Know, I think that's called the toner, but she did. So yeah, she was able to do that to my hair. And I really like it. So now, I mean, if you guys have any questions of my hair, just let me know. That's that. Um, and they're just pretty waves. And they're just pretty really little waves. Um, yeah, I like them. Um, so let me know what you think. So let me know what you think. Um, I really like it. Um, um, um. um. This is how my curls came out. Um, I really like them. Um, they're just very um, pretty waves with um, that I used my wand. And um, yeah, it's it's really I like it. It's really pretty. Do you like my curls? See, my brother likes curls. So yeah, they're really um, pretty. And then right here, if you don't like this, like all flat and stuff. Just grab your fingers and just run them through to kind of get volume. Run them and kind of go like that and then kind of do that and then add hairspray. Whatever you want to do with your hair, you're welcome to do. So, um, yeah, these are it. Um, I'm going to... And if you girls want me to do any other hair tutorials, just let me know. Um, so, yeah, I really like my hair. Um, it's very curly. Um, the waves are nice. After you're done with your hair, you can go ahead and apply hairspray. Um, and yeah. But since I really like to have my hair natural, I won't apply anything. Um, but unless I really, really, really want to apply some, um, and I'm going to be out for a long time, I'll just apply my swipe hairspray. Um, and if I won't put like my 
hair to be extravagant, like more like, you know, more bigger, more bigger, um, kind of Beyonce inspired hair. I'll just spray it going upwards and then kind of start going like that to my hair. And yeah, I really like them. Um, so they're basically like cute waves. I hope you girls enjoyed this video and just let me know if you girls, um, liked it, um, and I don't use any overpriced shampoo. I just use the very, you know, um, I buy one at Target. It's nothing like I use this expensive one. Um, I have used other products that are pretty expensive, but I tend not to do that because it's just not worth it. So yeah, I'm done for this video. And um, yeah, just let me know if you girls enjoyed it. Um, and if you guys want me to do another video, um, I'll definitely do it. <laughs> Bye, guys.